What's happening YouTube and welcome back to the Scott Attempts Gaming Channel for a brand new FIFA 23 video. We're going for something a little bit different today. As you can see, the 2022 Qatar World Cup expansion is now in FIFA 23 and we are going to be trying to win the tournament with England. Player career mode videos are still on the way and I should have a new one uploaded within about a day of this video going live. Really exciting to actually see what this update is going to be like. So this is the menu, obviously, of the FIFA World Cup live where I'm assuming you can play the live game. So, for example, Qatar versus Ecuador by the first game. I'm assuming you can just play that. This is the FIFA World Cup custom tournament, which we are going to be doing. We're going to be creating our own custom tournament. Online tournament, that's pretty pretty interesting. Obviously, you can customise. Fine-tune your FIFA World Cup experience. Let me just check the England team. So this is the England side, and it's just a bit interesting. You've got Sterling, Kane, Ford, and Phillips, Rice, and Mount. Chilwell, Maguire, Stones, Walker, and Pickford. It's Grealish, Saka, Abraham, Bellingham, Ramsdale, Trippier, Alexander Arnold on the bench. Reese James, Henderson, Cody, Sancho, Watkins, Mings, Ward Price, Pope, Gallagher, Smith, Rowe, Tomorrow, Shaw, Calvert Lewin, Bamford, Dyer, Henderson, Lingard, Johnson. Interestingly, there's no James Madison, and he was the first player we're going to be looking for because it's looking like going off reports that are leaking out tonight. James Madison is going to miss out on the World Cup squad. Obviously, as of right now, it's Wednesday the 9th. Of November, Gareth Southgate will announce his England squad tomorrow morning at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, I think. Morning. 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Let's start a FIFA 22 World Cup tournament. Obviously, we are going to be using England, of course. Is the tournament screen? It's, it's just pretty much exactly like career mode. I'm going to create a custom tactic and get back to you with what I decide. I'm thinking 4 2 3 1. So, this is the team that I have decided on. Obviously, Pickford in goal, Chilwell, Tamori, Stones, Walker as the back four, Rice and Bellingham in the centre midfield areas, Sterling, Ford, and Saka, and Harry Kane leading the line. Bench of Abraham, Grealish, Sancho, Mount, Calvin Phillips, Trent Alexander Arnold, and Aaron Ramsdale. Uh, no room in the squad for players like Reese James, Kieran Trippier. Obviously, I might just rotate the squad a bit if we get through the group stages quite easily. So we're going to get into the first game against Iran now. On paper, this should be the easiest game of the group. Some cool animations coming up next. The stadium's absolutely gorgeous, to be fair. So the visuals are actually really, really nice. It all looks really, really good, to be fair. Obviously, a lot of controversy surrounding Qatar hosting the World Cup. Sepp Blatt has even come out and said it was a mistake. I've never felt less enthusiastic for a World Cup ever. I'm more gutted about the fact Premier League's gone for six weeks. It's even got national anthems in as well. Nowhere. <laughs> Just a shame you can't actually hear the crowd singing the national anthems. That's the only thing that says the negative. But yeah, it's really, really well made so far. Yeah, this is amazing. Let's get straight into the game. Let's try and get the first three points of Qatar 2022. Hopefully we can win the tournament. Interestingly, this is my first actual game against the AI. Because I've been playing player career mode so much. I'm actually looking forward to using some of these players like Bellingham and Foden. To Declan Rice. I've given the ball away in my own half. That's never... Oh, Iran are in. It's a good save by Jordan Pickford. So Iran have actually had the first chance. Oh, Walker's away on the wing. I need someone to make a run to the box. Kane's not in the box. Foden. Oh, it's an easy save for the keeper. Follow game with the first goal. Maybe should have had a couple of warm-up games against the AI before just jumping straight into this World Cup ball and I'm trying to make a video. All right, but... Into Rice. Bellingham. Foden. Sterling. Oh, and he like played Foden back in. That was unlucky. One good thing about the England squad is I have got Sancho, Grealish, Abraham. If I need to change stuff up at half-time, I definitely can. Foden. Bellingham. That's a good ball back out to Saka. Back to Foden. Shot. Oh, it's straight at the keeper. That's our first proper sight of goal. Do you know what? I can see this happening in real life. I really can with England. They just they just never beat the teams they should beat in World Cups today or anything like that. It'll end up being a nil-nil draw. Foden. Sterling, his former teammate. Cut inside. Finesse shot. Oh, that's a good save by the keeper. That's our first proper time testing the goalkeeper's hands. Nil-nil at half time. Yeah, hopefully England can play a little bit better in real life. Just struggling to get players into the game at the minute. Like Kane, he just feels like he's really isolated. For Rice. <laughs> that is absolutely terrible. What is that? Oh, no. Good interception. Oh, they've still got it. Good tackle. I'll give it away again. Oh, my God. Iran should be winning. I can't defend for Toffee. What the hell? Out to Chilwell. Up to Foden. Foden could be in here. Well cut inside. It's got to be a goal from Foden. 1-0 to England. Finally, Phil Foden opens the scoring. That I one dribbling is so good. It works for me so much on player career mode. It's worked for me on this World Cup game mode as well. Really nice counter-attacking goal. That I one dribbling just gets me in one-on-one. -on -one. Class finish into the back of the net. Mount and Grealish coming on. Bellingham and Saka off. A nice ball. I have to remember that is only 1-0. Oh, they're in. Good save by Jordan Pickford. Tamori, he's a beast on this game, Tamori. 
Grealish. Borden. So whatever Grealish might that run behind. He's not made it. Ah. Rice. Walker. Mount. Kane could be in. Harry Kane's in. Got to be. 2-0. Got to be game over. Harry Kane is not missing when he gets in one-on-one. -on -one. That was a really well-worked goal. And we've definitely got three points in our first game. That's the first sight of goal I've managed to get Kane in this game. I need to get him more involved in the next game against USA. Walker into Mount. Lovely ball. Kane's in. Great finish. 2-0. Oh, I could score third. Won the ball back high. I'm going to sweat this. Fled across the goal. Kane, 3-0. That is definitely game over. I thought go for the sweaty goal. I thought do it, but... That's 3-0 against Iran. Hopefully, England can replicate this in real life. And Trent Alexander-Arnold has come on for Kyle Walker as well. It's going to give him the last five minutes of the game. Sterling. That's why he's in the team. Look at that pace. Get Kane in for an hat-trick. Oh, it's going to go to Grealish. Oh, he's put on my own player. Added time now. It's got to be game, that. Oh, but Grealish. That's unbelievable. Oh, I went for the heavy touch. Oh, put it back. Kane hat-trick. Got to be. Oh, it's a trick for Kane. 4-0. Two goals off winning the ball back high. Oh, my God. I hope, I hope England play like this when the tournament actually starts. We've made the light work of Iran in this second half after a pretty difficult first half. All come from Grealish, that. Grealish did brilliantly on the left. Good finish from Kane. You'd expect him for the score. And it's 4-0. And that's going to be game over. 4-0 win in our opening group game. Routine win for England. Bring on the USA next. Next game against the USA. This is actually on 8 o'clock on a Friday night in England. It's going to be absolute chaos in the pubs. Hopefully we can replicate the Iran performance and comfortably win the game. Just one change for today's game. Mason Mount is in for Jude Bellingham. I thought Mount really affected the game in the last game against Iran. Yeah, so a win here for us would take us straight to around the 16. So that gave us a nice platform for going to the Wales game with a little less, bit of less pressure on us. We're unfortunately playing in the same stadium as the first one, but the Luzale Stadium, I think this is going to be the main one. I think this is where the final's being played. So America next with players like Brendan Aronson and Tyler Adams playing. This is going to be a much more difficult game, I think. Now, I've set England up in a 4-2-3-1, but I don't think it's how England are going to line up at the actual tournament. I think they will play with a five at the back. That Southgate absolutely loves. I don't really agree with it. Whipped in looking for Sterling, never going to win it. Yeah, Sterling's not going to win that. Mount, Gordon, Saka, Kane, oh, the one looking at one, really, really good football, that, and he's thrown it straight to Sterling, Sterling to Rice, Mount, Gordon, Saka, this is brilliant, oh, what a goal, oh, what a goal, that is just liquid football at its finest, 1-0 to England, Saka gets the goal, I'll tell you something, Gordon, is absolutely class in that cam roll. Forden will be in there. Oh, Saka will be. That's nice. Saka back to Forden. Oh, lucky. Aronson's well too deep here. He's probably their main danger, man. Oh, that was a bit weird. How did they manage to get an head away there? Forden. Oh, what a save by Turner, the Arsenal goalkeeper. That was a really, really good attacking move. That's still in set the corner. Let's keep the momentum going. Mount in front of his... Ah, oh, that's a poor header. Mount got in front of his man as well, though. Oh, Kane's in. Kane's in. Surely won't miss. What a save. You expect Kane for the score, though. It's going to be half-time. 1-0. Really, really dominant half from us, England. But I just feel that second goal is missing. I don't really like being only 1-0 up. So it's Saka's goal that is the difference so far. Oh, Sterling's amazing. That's amazing from Sterling. Harry Kane. Oh, unlucky. I thought I was going to nestle in top corner. Tamori, mate. Tamori is just an animal. Oh, Sterling could be in. Oh. Tamori is just there to clean up again. He's a bit mad at match there. That's nice from America. That's good football. Got a terrible tackle from Declan Rice. America have got men forward here. What a block to Maury. He's been by far our best player. To Maury again. He's, an, he's a monster. He is an absolute monster, honestly. Whipped in. Oh, Forden, another chance. Oh, what a lucky bounce. 
It's 2-0. That was so lucky. Massive, massive stroke of luck there, to be honest. Borden makes it 2. That's got to be game over. Good ball in from Sterling. I just don't get what happens. It just hits the defender's head. It just lands at Forden's feet. 2-0. Substitutions made. Sancho and Bellingham on. Borden's goal should seal it for us. America have sent the goalkeeper forward. If we can get a counter-attack here, we'll we should score and win the game. Tomori, yeah, Tomori's a monster, mate. He's an absolute monster on this game. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, Sterling's in. That's a mistake. Got to be free. Got to be free. What a finish, Sterling. Capitalises on a defensive mistake from America. 3-0 to England. We're going through to the round of 16. Massive defensive mistake. Sterling goes in. Outside at foot shot. Across the keeper. Right into the top corner. Seven goal difference off our first two games. We'll take that every day of the week. 3-0. Full-time win. Another superb performance, to be fair. We're going to the Wales game. Qualified to the knockout stages. So, as you can see, Wales drew with Iran. Which I think is going to mean... England and Wales are progressing through to the round of 16 by an absolute landslide victory for us against Wales and Iran beating the States in the final game. So England and Wales at a FIFA World Cup, a massive occasion for the home nations, obviously. A little bit more to this game. We're back at the Lusail Stadium again. Let's try and get the local bragging rights against a very strong Wales side. So I've made a few changes for this game today while I'm already qualified. Sancho will start on the left, Sterling on the right, and Reese James at right back instead of Kyle Walker. I'm going to rest. Now, I haven't actually looked at who we were playing in the next round. I know it's either one of Senegal, Holland, or someone out of that group. I'm hoping to avoid Holland. So winning the group will give us the best chance. I haven't even checked the standings in that group. England and Wales, always a massive game, but especially in the World Cup. Oh, it's a bit of a kit clash, but it's all right. I can kind of make it out. I didn't check the kits. You'd imagine Wales a bit up for this. I'm just looking at the teams. Wales have got five at the back. Rice. Forden. Back to Rice. So Mount. Shot. Oh, good save by Danny Ward. That was a really good start. Be nice to get an early goal in this one. Whipped in. Oh, I couldn't quite get there. Back to Rice. Uh, that's a terrible ball. No idea what he was trying to achieve there. Mount again. I need someone to make a... Which Forden. What a goal. It's so easy. Forden is just a joke on this game, mate. He's so good. Beautiful ball, that, from Mount. Really good disguise, and it gets Forden in. Smashes it low and hard past the keeper. Look at this pass from Mount. What a ball. What a finish by Forden. Danny Ward maybe should do better. 1-0. Forden again being the difference maker. He's been so good in that camp position. Well... Uh, surely they've won that ball back. We haven't, somehow. Oh, that's a good ball. And it's a good block by John Stones. That was a decent sight of goal, that, for Wales. To be fair, they should probably have done better. Uh, Wales are in here. Tamori again. Oh, my. Nah. Nah, he's not human. Oh, Kane, okay, he just... He's like having a fridge up front. Could be in here, Wales. Oh, no. Roberts is in. That's a great save. Rebound. Dan James equalises. Really, really poor defending from me, to be fair. Dan James equalises for Wales. It's one all. I thought give Pickford some credit here. It's a really good save, that. That's a great save from Pickford. Unlucky from James, not getting the rebound. Listen, we're still topping the group as it stands. The struggling a bit with Wales is five at the back. It is actually working. I said it weren't earlier on. It definitely is now. So let's get a second half on the way. That's the first goal we've considered this tournament. It's not all doom and gloom just yet, but I am just a little bit concerned about Kane. That's better from Sancho. Rice. Borden. Mount. What a finish. 2-1. Straight after half time. That's a brilliant goal. And Sancho played a big, big part in that then, to be fair. I know I was slagging him off earlier on. That's a goal each now for Forden and Mount. Both getting an assist for each other. Clips for a ball from Mount. From Forden, sorry. Back to Mount. It's across the keeper. Danny Ward makes a mistake. There's anyone who's been watching the Premier League in the last of the season no, Danny Ward making a mistake is not. Out of the ordinary. That's Neko Williams out oh, wide. Ball to Ramsey. Come on, Tamori. Keep up with him, lad. Oh, my God, mate. And the, the title of this video ought to just be in Tamori Madness or something like that. He's been so good. I'm going to go forward. Oh, that's a good save by Danny Ward. Really good save. We'll stay at tech control this game now, which is something we failed to do towards the end of the first half. That's what we're Kane's got to be winning that. Go on, Stones. Win it. You're against Dan James. He's lost the editor, Dan James, somehow. Wilson. Tackle. Tamori again. Oh, my God, man. Just the Tamori showing it. Nice. Good one-touch pass in. Sterling could be away here. Go on, Sterling, lad. 
Did get across to Abraham. What a ball. Oh, Grealish, what were you doing? Saka Rice. Oh, that's a good save. Abraham wins it back. Grealish. Oh, what a save again. How is it not 3 0? More and more like we're going to win this game. Grealish. Abraham. What a save. Oh, my God. That was an unreal save by Danny. Well, I don't like it. We're going to nestle in top corner. Abraham's in again. And he scores this time in the 91st minute. Makes it 3-1 to England. All Tammy Tammy. 3-1. 100% record maintained in the groups. We're going to be topping the group and hopefully get a decent draw in the next round. What a finish from Abraham, by the way. Edge of the box. Oof, that's a beauty of a finish. 3-1 to England. The game finishes. Tammy, Abraham, adding the icing on the cake. We have topped our group, which should hopefully give us a favourable draw in the next round. So Wales, despite getting beat, do proceed through to the next round. Wales will play the group winner, I think, of Group A. I think. I'm not too sure. In the next round, we have got Ecuador in the round of 16. That's actually a pretty favourable draw, to be honest. It's at a new stadium, the Albert Stadium. A quick run through the groups. Netherlands easily won their group. Ecuador comes second. Senegal had a very disappointing tournament. And Qatar managed to get one point. That's it for the horse. Group B, you know where that went. We stormed the group with nine points. Only conceding one goal. Wales progressing in second place. Argentina and Poland progress through Group C. Look like a, pretty, a bit more of a closer group. Group D and a massive shock. France are out. They've only managed to finish fourth. Tunisia are go through and Denmark. No surprises Denmark have gone through, but Tunisia have managed to beat France the second spot. And also, France got beat by Australia 3 1. Drew could only manage a draw with Denmark and then were beat and then beat Tunisia. But it wasn't quite enough. Spain and Germany progress through Group E. Obviously, Costa Rica and Japan going out. You would expect Spain and Germany to go through. Germany did make it quite hard for themselves. But them two will be in the round of 16. Group F, yeah, Belgium and Croatia progress through. Canada and Morocco crash out. Morocco had a terrible tournament, only scoring once and conceding six times against zero points. Canada got some decent results to be fair. They beat Morocco and drew with Belgium. They had a tournament they could be proud of. It was a pretty close group and had an excellent game. And Belgium beat Canada 4-3. That would have been a brilliant game for what? Group G, Cameroon. Oh, this is a bit of a group of death. And to be honest with you, a bit of a shock. Cameroon top Group G with Brazil only managing second place on goals. Goal difference. Serbia and Switzerland crash out. That's crazy. Serbia even managed to beat Brazil as well, 2-0. In Group H, Portugal win the group with Uruguay coming second. Cut South Korea drew every single game. And Ghana coming last, unfortunately. Looking ahead to the end of 16 fixtures, we have got Denmark versus Poland, England versus Ecuador, Spain versus Croatia, Cameroon versus Uruguay, Belgium versus Germany, and Portugal versus Brazil. I think if we was to beat Ecuador, we would play the winner of Denmark versus Poland. Yeah, a look to the tournament tree would show... It's already going to be Netherlands versus Argentina in the quarterfinals. Argentina have beat Tunisia and the Netherlands have beat Wales. I didn't even see that. But in the England will play the winner of Denmark or Poland should we be successful against Ecuador, which is another pretty favourable draw for us again. And then we would go on to play, if we could beat Denmark or Poland, we would go on to play either Netherlands or Argentina in the semi-final, which could be a massive, massive semi-final. Looking across to the other side, you've got Belgium versus Germany and Portugal versus Brazil. Two absolute bangers of games. But in the quarterfinals, you could be seeing potentially one of the games of the tournament belgium or germany versus portugal or brazil that would be an incredible fixture so that's going to be the end of this video for a special one-off series for the fifa 22 world cup don't worry fifa 23 player career mode videos are still coming this is just a short one-off a little bit of fun on the side getting us in the mood for a world cup an ill-time world cup if you've enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe to the channels it really lets me out and i'll see you in the next one cheers